outer portion of the mantle. Above this is the outermost layer of the earth, the crust. Together, the crust and solid outer portion of the mantle form the earth's outer shell. They are referred to as the lithosphere. It's not always easy to see the earth's crust. It is covered by vegetation and oceans. But if you could drain the oceans and strip away our planet's vegetation, the earth might look something like this. Now you can see the earth's hard outer shell. And if you look closely, you can also see the shell is cracked. The red glowing lines mark the places where the earth's shell is cracked into small and large pieces called tectonic plates. Each plate carries a continent or an ocean basin, or sometimes both. The plates are moving one to two inches a year, carrying continents and ocean basins with them. Millions of years ago, the world looked something like this, every continent in a different position. They were so close together, they formed a single supercontinent called Pangaea. But even then, the plates were moving a few inches a year and kept moving until they reached their present-day positions. The theory that continents move is called continental drift. In some places, plates are moving in opposite directions. They are moving apart. The area where two plates are moving apart is called a divergent boundary. In other places, plates slide past each other. The area where two plates slide past each other is called a transform boundary. And in other places, plates are colliding. Most of the world's great mountain ranges occur where two plates collide, an area called a convergent boundary. Here's what happens at some convergent boundaries. In this example, the plate on the left is carrying a continent and is moving in this direction. The plate on the right is also carrying a continent, but is moving in the opposite direction. They are colliding. The two plates squeeze up against each other. Under the incredible pressure, layers of the Earth's surface are compressed and folded, rising high into the air. These raised layers of Earth are called folded mountains because of the way they're folded. You can make your own folded mountains simply by squeezing the ends of some towels together. The Earth's crust will fold just as these towels will. The world's highest mountains, the Himalayas, were made in much the same way. They were formed when the plate carrying India collided with the Eurasian plate. Over millions of years, the Earth's crust was squeezed into folds more than five miles high. Today, the Himalayas are growing even higher as the plate carrying India continues to push against the Eurasian plate. 